Hello, everyone. In this video, you will listen to some different conversations in different places. Moreover, you will also learn a lot of vocabulary about daily life topics. Watch until the end of the video to practice your English. At the restaurant. Good evening. Welcome to Ellie's Steak. Can I help you? We made a reservation for dinner. Could I have your name, please? Tom Evan. Table for two at 7 p.m. Yes, please come this way. Thank you. Can I have the menu, please? Certainly. Would you like to have regular water or mineral water? Give me a mineral water, please. Two mineral waters, please. Sure. Here's the menu, sir. Before ordering, can you tell me what are the famous dishes in this restaurant? Seared beef sashimi, blue cheese cured eye of the rib ribeye, and wagyu steak tartare are the famous dishes of our restaurant. Lamb noodles are also the top most liked food in the restaurant. I would like to have one blue cheese cured eye of the rib ribeye and one seared beef sashimi. Would you like to have anything else? One shredded Brussels sprout salad and one lamb noodle, please. Would you like to have any drinks with your meal? Mulled wine cocktail, please. Absinthe Hemingway, please. There is a short 15-minute wait. Your dishes will be here soon. Thank you. If you need anything else, please let me know. At the airport. Good morning. Do you have your passport with you? Yes, here it is. What's your final destination? Canada. Are you a tourist or here on business? I'm a tourist. Do you have any luggage? Just this one. Okay, please place your bag on the scale. Sure. Here are your boarding passes and luggage tags. Don't lose them. Your flight leaves from gate 10B and it'll begin boarding at 1020. Your seat number is 24E. Please go to the gate check-in to check in your baggage. Can you point me to the gate check-in? Sure, it's that way, around that corner. Great. Thank you. Next. Here's my ticket. Please remove your jacket, belt, and all metal items. Make sure your drinking water bottle is empty. Put everything, including documents, into your bag. I brought a laptop. Where should I put it? You can place your laptop in a separate tray. I'm done. Now please step through the scanner. What's wrong? Please step to the side. Do you have any coins in your pocket? Yes, I forgot. Ah, that's the problem. Put your coins in this bin and walk through the scanner again. Okay. Excellent, you're all set. Remember to unload your pockets before you go through security next time. I'll do that. Thank you. Have a nice flight. At the car park. Where are you now? I'm in the car park. I'm also at the car park. Where are you parked? I'm in parking lot B. How about you? I'm at the entrance. I got it. Can you wait there a few minutes? After parking, I will come over. Hey, Alan. How's it going? 
I'm good, thanks. How about you? Very well. How long have you been here? About 15 minutes. Sorry for making you wait. This parking lot is very big and spacious, so it's a bit hard to find a spot. Don't bother about that. The first time I came here, I couldn't find a parking space either. How did you know about this place? A colleague I know who lives nearby recommended this place to me. Is there anything interesting about this building? On the roof space has many entertainment areas. On the fourth floor has a very famous restaurant. The food there is very delicious. Sounds great. Let's go to that restaurant. I have some issues to discuss with you. Sure. I also have some new ideas for you. Let's go. At the cosmetic store. Good afternoon. How may I help you? I want to buy foundation and some eyeshadows. Can you recommend a few? May I ask what brand of foundation you normally use? I often change the foundation and don't have a specific brand. As I see, you have combination skin. How do I choose a foundation for combination skin? I think you will like this foundation. I highly recommend this. In this cream, the compound can control oil on your skin and it has moisturizing nutrients which avoid making your skin dry. Can I test it? Sure, let me help you. Very smooth and absorbs quickly. How much does it cost? It costs $45. Okay, I'll take one. Now, would you recommend me some eyeshadows? What color are you looking for? I like bright colors such as pink, orange, and nude. Do you like shimmer eyeshadow? Yes, I love it. Bright colors have colors like these. What do you think? These colors look nice. I like this one. This item is a bestseller. How long can this eyeshadow last? Eyeshadow tends to last for quite a long time if taken good care of and stored properly. For this one, it may last up to 24 months. Perfect, I'll take this one. Could I have the bill, please? Your total comes to $60. Do you want to pay by credit card or in cash? Credit card, please. Do you have a membership card? No, I don't. Here's your receipt and change. Thank you for shopping with us. Hope to see you soon. At the pet shop. Hello, how can I help you? I'm planning to adopt a pet. Could you give me some advice? What kind of pet would you like to have? I'm considering between getting a dog and a cat. Cats and dogs have different needs and characteristics. I think the decision depends on the lifestyle you have and your personal favorite. If you're an energetic outdoorsy type who loves keeping active, a dog may be the right choice for you. Dogs need lots of fresh air, open space, and regular walks. My work is quite busy. I don't have much time to walk a dog. If so, you might be better suited for a cat. Cats are relatively quiet and are happy to be left alone to sleep and entertain themselves for most of the day. They don't need walking and don't need as much indoor space as dogs. Thank you for your help. I have made the decision. Can you take me to see some kitties? Yes, of course. Please follow me. This way. At the bookstore. Nancy, is that you? Alex, OMG! Long time no see! How's it going? I'm doing well, thank you. You? Nothing much. It's great to see you here. 
Are you looking for a novel? Yeah, actually. I want to buy a gift for my best friend, Luna. She's a bookaholic. She's especially in love with fantasy novels. I see. In case you need any help, I'm also a big fan of sci-fi, thrillers, and fantasy genres. Oh, really? Do you recommend any of these books? I'm in two minds about Harry Potter and Percy Jackson. What would you say? Well, I'd say those series are quite classic. Your friend has probably read or heard about them. You're right. My friend really enjoys all kinds of witches and wizards. What about supernatural powers? Sounds good. Luna's actually never tried reading about heroes. If so, I highly recommend you buy The Kingdom. It's kind of like a science book, but the author was able to come up with an original plot, which makes the book mind-blowing. Wow, is there any plot twist? You can say so. Actually, I found it mixed with a bit of horror as well. My friend's gonna love it. I'll get this one. How about you? Are you looking for any novels? Actually, I need to buy some language proficiency books. Are you studying for the IELTS? No, I need to hit the books with some TOEIC materials. Ah, I see. Actually, I have some at my home and they are still brand new. Wow, really? I'd love to borrow them if you don't mind. Not at all. Feel free to use them. At the beach. Hooray! Finally, we have a vacation on the beach. I want to dive into the ocean right away. Ooh, let's go swimming. Dad, Evelyn, I can't swim. You can stay there and sunbathe with your mom. How's it going, sweetie? Dad and Evelyn don't want to play with you? I want to be like them, but I can't. Do you want to sign up for a swimming class when we get back? I love the sea, but I'm not into swimming, Mom. All right, it's up to you. Want to get a suntan with me? No, thanks. I think I'm going to build a sandcastle. That was fantastic. Are you interested in a seashell hunt, Jack? Whoever finds the most seashells wins. Okay, let's go. Look at our buckets, Mom and Dad. We got a lot of seashells and I'm the winner. Congrats, Evelyn and Jack. Are you guys still interested in family volleyball? Why not? Let's make teams now. I'm with mom. Then I'm going to be dad's teammate. Let's get started. At the bank. Good morning. I would like to open a bank account, but I didn't know what to prepare. Good morning, sir. Please take a seat first. Did you bring a valid photo ID? I didn't bring my passport here, but I have a driver's license. That is still fine. May I have a look at it? Here you are. Okay. So basically, we have two types of accounts, checking and savings. My friend also told me about this, but could you be more specific? If you only want to use it for daily purchases, you can set up a checking account. How about a savings one? Just as the name stated, you can put some money aside and get high interest rates. Sounds great, but I don't want to save anything for now. So only a checking account, please. Got it. To open any kind of account, you need to put in at least $25 as a deposit. All right, here is $25. I'm setting up a checking account for you now. At 
at the church. I'm so nervous, Linda. It's okay, relax. Everyone's so friendly here. No, I'm worried that I might make a mistake. God will see my flaws and he will punish me. It doesn't work like that at church, Emma. There are so many people. Are we late? We're actually eight minutes early. Can I take one of the church bulletins? Since this is your first time, you can take it. Now, you should choose your place in the pew. These are Bibles and hymn books. How do I know when I should stand or sit? There is a pastor who will guide us through everything, so no worries. You should take a look at the bulletin carefully because there will be a call and answer session. That means we have to respond to the pastor, right? You got it. At the concert hall. Excuse me, are you also coming to the Rock Barbie concert? Yes, I am. What's the problem? Phew! I was just afraid that I came on the wrong day. I didn't see any fan-made banners for Rock Barbie, so I was wondering. I see. Don't worry. I think they're already inside the hall now. Want to join me? It would be my pleasure. By the way, my name is Minzy. Nice to meet you, Minzy. I'm Selena. How long have you been a fan of Rock Barbie? I've been a fan for about a month. Unbelievable. Did you come to their concert last month? Yeah, that was my first time listening to their music and it was absolutely gripping. Who's your favorite member? Everybody is crazy about the vocalist, but I think the drummer is so sexy. OMG, I thought I was the only fan of the drummer. Really? So glad that I met you. By the way, do you know whether we can video them today? I remember one of the staff asked me to delete all of the videos during the last concert. That's too bad, but don't worry. They still allow us to take pictures. So we can only take pictures, but no video, right? That's right. God, look around. It's almost jammed. But we'd better feel lucky because nobody can stand up and block our view. You're right. We are in a good spot. OMG! Rock Barbie is coming onto the stage. At the police station. How can I help you? Good morning. I would like to report a theft. All right. Please sit down and tell me where you were when it happened. I was walking on King Street this morning. Suddenly a man approached me. He rushed past me and took my purse. Can you describe the man who took your purse? He was wearing a mask, so I didn't see his face clearly. He was... Not tall at all. He was maybe the same height as me, but he's definitely a white man with short, curly hair. That's all I can recall. Thank you for the details. Can you tell me what is inside your purse? I have a debit card, a photo of me, and $50 in cash. May I know your name, please? My full name is Emma Harrington. And your phone number? It's 145-920-487. We will contact you if we happen to find anything new about this guy. Thank you, police officer. At the swimming pool. Hello, class. 
Please welcome Jenny. She's a newcomer to our swimming club. Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. I can't swim now, but I really want to learn. I hope we can make good friends and learn to swim together. Definitely, Jenny. Before we get started, let's do some warm-ups. Let's start with putting your hand up and down. Now keep your hand on your hip, tilt your other hand to the left, and switch. All right, are we ready to swim now? Not really. May I ask whether you're scared of water, Jenny? No, teacher. I enjoy soaking in the water. That's why I want to learn how to swim. Good job. Because before we swim, we have to build water confidence. Now, do you want to try to hold your breath? I'm eager to learn more about it. What should I do? Okay. First... at the circus. Wow, look at the festive circus. Fantastic. This is my first time coming here. It must be really fun. I bet you're gonna like it. What are people gonna perform at the circus today? No idea. I haven't checked the brochures yet. But look around us, there are a lot of clowns trying to give candy to the kids. There must be a clown performance today. What can a clown do? Well, they can crack some jokes and make you laugh all day long. And they also do some magic tricks as well. Sounds interesting. Shall we go inside the circus tent now? Sure, let me buy the tickets first. OMG, John! Look at the people who are standing on each other. It looks like they're making a human pyramid. You're right, they're so talented. But this is just the beginning of the show. I heard one of the highlights of the circus is the animal performance. OMG! I once saw elephants dancing with the performers on TV. I wish I could see them today as well. Don't worry, not only elephants, but tigers and dolphins are also in the spotlight today. We may have a chance to feed the dolphins, and they will kiss us as a thank you. Lovely! I can't wait to meet them. At the stadium. Lucy, we're here. Thank God. I've been searching for you guys. Don't worry. We cannot go inside without you. Do we need to buy the tickets? No, I got a triple ticket here. Cool. How did you buy it? From an online store, and it was much cheaper than a single adult ticket. Let's go inside the stadium now. I'm so excited. Wait, guys, I forgot who's playing today. Tiger King versus Bear Broke. And we're coming here cheering for the Tiger team. So excited. I think they're gonna win today. But doesn't it all depend on the referee? Oh yeah, I hope that the match today will be fair. Actually, I heard that the bear team is improving much better after their last training. It's not as easy to beat them anymore, so I think there will be a tie. Good guess. Let's see who's on a roll today. OMG, Tiger's goalkeeper is doing very well today. Yet still nobody can score. I'm a little bit disappointed. Come on, just keep watching. Wait, look, yes, I knew it. Tiger finally beat Bear 1-0. 
The time is almost over, but Tiger nailed it. Good job, team. Look at how excited Peter is right now. I bet he's gonna take us to the next Tiger match. I know, right? At the bakery. Welcome to David's Bakery. Good morning. How can I help you? Hi, I would like to order a birthday cake for my son. We have many brand new birthday cakes right over here. Please have a look at them. My son loves chocolate, so I'm quite of two minds about this one and this one. This one is tiramisu and this one is brownie. Hmm, I think I'll go for the tiramisu one. What cake size would you like? I'd like a six inch one, please. Got that. What kind of message do you want me to write on the cake? Happy 10th birthday, Tony. Oh, your son is 10 years old now. He's the same age as my daughter. Really? <laughs> when will you come to pick up the cake, ma'am? This afternoon. Is 3 p.m. okay? It's totally fine. We'll prepare the cake before that. We'll also give away 10 candles and three birthday hats as a gift to your son. I appreciate it. I'd love to walk around your store for a bit. Please enjoy your time here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.